Welcome back to chapter three. This is slides seven, eight, and nine. And we're starting with slide seven, the cytoplasm. And this particular organelle is a gel-like substance between the plasma membrane and the nucleus. And you can see what you're gonna fill in there on your notes, gel-like substance in blue. It's also similar to, um, pretty thick, similar to like gelatin. It's composed chiefly of water salts and some organic molecules and it helps all of the organelles or the structures in the cell hang together. You can see when you kind of zoom in on your image there you'll notice um, these are animal cells. You'll see the um, plasma membrane which is here surrounding the cell and you'll see a nucleus that's stained dark here as the command center of the cell and this area right out here and all of this out here is the cytoplasm. On our next slide, which is slide 8, we're exploring the command center of the cell called the nucleus. And your first blanks that you're going to fill in there, command center, it's the boss of the cell. It gives commands for all the other organelles to listen to and pay attention to in the cell. It is larger than most of the other cell parts, so it's one of the things that you could see quite uh, evidently on the previous slide there that was stained uh, in the center of the slide. So that's sometimes all you'll see like on 40X under a microscope in the lab when you talk about the nucleus is just this part right here, for example. Rolling back to the slide we were on, um, most cells have at least one nucleus. Um, sometimes cells have more than one nucleus in them, and they would be known as multinucleated. There are three recognizable regions in the uh, nucleus. The first is the nuclear envelope, and you can see here on the slide, if this is your nucleus, this outer membrane right here that surrounds this thing is an envelope, just like an envelope encloses a letter. For example, um, we also have a nucleolus, which is a very dark area that stains dark on the cell. This is spherical, and this is where ribosome subunits are assembled. And we'll talk more about ribosomes here shortly. And then all of this grainy looking, um, line like spaghetti looking structure is known as the third component, which is chromatin. And chromatin is basically DNA. And um, when a cell is preparing to divide, the chromatin will uncoil and condense to form chromosomes that you'll be able to see. And we'll be talking more about that later in this particular chapter as well. Now we're going to do slide 9, which is featuring mitochondria. These are the little energy factories of the cell. They actually make and provide ATP, and earlier we asked you to Google ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and um, these mitochondria contain both DNA and RNA, and you may remember that when you did your DNA CSI activity in class. We asked you on question four to determine if a cell's nucleus had been destroyed, where else could you get DNA from, and you had an FBI consultation packet and it revealed that mitochondria also had DNA in it. They are sausage shaped. They're alive, they squirm, they move, they change shape. They're not just dead static organelles. Um, they do consist of two membranes and here you can see the outer membrane of the mitochondria and inside there is a network of membranes that are kind of folded upon each other and these are known as cristae. And there's kind of like a broth in here also and this is where um, the Krebs cycle takes place, and we're going to be talking about Krebs cycle in level two. That concludes seven, eight, and nine. Stay tuned for more.